This is our first performance in two years. Uh, we were scheduled to do this performance two years ago in March of 2020, and we shut down literally days before this event. So it's been two years since I have been able to bring a group out and perform. So this is, this is really exciting. The Indianapolis School Music Festival, it's an opportunity for schools from all over the city um, to kind of gather and get some feedback from uh, some very high-level clinicians. We're actually uh, performing you know, our music for um, these clinicians that are there. And then they're coming up and they're giving us feedback, so we'll go back through some of the music. Have you ever taken bread and kneaded it? Yes. And it's, kind of, it's not like you're hitting a brick, but it's more like that. You, uh, yeah. well, that's what you're going to do with it. I got to work with a sixth grade group, a beginning band group. They'd only play for six or seven weeks, but at that stage in their development, it is so easy to make big strides and progress, so it was really fun. Then I got to work with another group that was very polished. They're getting ready for ISMA, and so we got to go a step further and tweak some things that were really good in their performance. I think it's great that Music for All is doing this event for the students in Indianapolis and it's my hope that it gives more young groups the opportunity to have an experience like this. Many of our schools in IPS don't get the opportunity to go out and do some of the state-sponsored events because of the cost and this festival gives us a chance to still have that but without the cost of the state performances. For me, being my first year here at this school and you know, trying to get the students built up, a lot of them have never been in a choir before. So having this experience gives them something a bit more formal and kind of leads them into what a real choral experience would be.